Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, I have a theory, and it involves a concept that EA just brought to footies with Team 3. The idea of unlimited. Like, truly, no limits, as many as we can do. And I hope to see more of that today. I want to talk more about that in a little bit. But we have a lot of content to discuss as a footies Team 3 was dropped yesterday. And some very interesting SBCs evolutions and objectives guys they want us to play with silvers in august that is could be seen as fun but also could be seen as kind of annoying we're discussing it all today guys and what to watch for today with maybe the 84 times 10 coming back or a yaya toure sbc yeah a lot to discuss if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new let's talk about the surprising twists that content brought yesterday with footies team three by first going to the objective section and looking at the boring stuff right we have a muhammad kudus if you're a west ham fan you're liking it it's kind of our footies objective player nothing crazy there the footies daily play is back this time with an icon reward of Gattuso. This might be the best ever Gattuso card we've had in FIFA FC. Five star, four star, pretty solid card, and you get it for just playing games each and every day. Four completions, of course, gets you the XP. That's one of the most important parts of that daily play. Now, the interesting thing is this, the Footies Silver Cup, which if we look at the big time reward all off the bat, we have a pretty insane Correa card. 5-4, Tiki Taka, Power Shot, Rapid, and Technical. This guy's always OP. Remember his Centurions car when he first came out? Was super crazy. W playstyle pluses, decent playstyles as well. 97 rated. But you have to play with a silver team in the silver cup. There's also a Lookman in here, and there is a Doomfreeze card for winning 11. To complete the whole thing, you have to win 14 games. You do get some good packs alongside of it, but it just seems a bit odd and a bit un-August-like to be playing with silver cards in the cup. There's also a requirement for minimum three leagues in your starting 11, but it is max chemistry mode. So basically all you have to do is get the best silver cards that you can possibly find in your club, make a team with only one lone player, but how often are you finding a lone silver anyway? It's a pretty easy thing to form. It's just going to be a little bit different playing with the silver cards, guys, which again is the biggest surprise in the day because I don't think any of us really expected that. Now, the one thing I do want to say about this before we get into the conversation of is it cool or is it really mid? Check your clubs because there are free coins to be had. I just checked for like five minutes yesterday, ran through a couple of cards, sold the sec for 9k, sold Huang Weizhou for basically max price as well, and a bunch of other ones for like one, two, three thousand coins. 9k for this Joao Pedro here. That's just one example of a player that's going up a bunch in price, as a lot of silvers are. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is cards especially outside right backs, left backs, outside backs with high pace are selling for pretty good prices because people want pace. You can see this Ibuhi sold for 2.7 and this Yilmaz for 2.7 as well. So make sure you check those as are a number of other somewhat meta players with pace and good shooting and passing stats for silvers as people build those teams. Now, I get that it's weird. I get that it's different, but it is something fun. I'm going to do it. I honestly am going to do it. Of course, you need to play three games to get the XP from this anyway. So I really don't have a problem with it. It's just different and it's just unexpected. But one thing that makes it a little bit better is the fact that they have dropped evolutions that go alongside of it, right? It's a bit of an interesting one here where a silver card can stay the same rating. Literally, an evolution does not boost the overall rating of the silver cards, but it takes them up to 90s in stat categories if they have around, you know, mid-70s pace, mid-70s shooting. It's a really, really massive boost, like plus 15, plus 10, plus 12 in some of the certain cat, cat, uh, stat categories. Like, this is a really cool evo, and it's really easy to get done. You play three matches. So, I'm in the camp where this is just kind of cool because it makes, like, the craziest silver card you're ever going to see in this game because you're going to have a silver with three playstyle pluses and 90 rated stats. So, it is nice that that is there for us to have a little bit better opportunity to get a cool card. It's maybe a more meta or ahead of the curve or more up-to-date with the actual meta, even though it's a silver card when we're playing in that cup mode. Yeah, it's just different. I don't have a problem with it, man. I really don't. It's just weird that this is the first time that we're seeing it because it's fun and they've interacted with this stuff before in the menus and with content like ages before. Remember we had the Silver Stars promo that was like maybe around foot birthday time or like a couple months earlier into the cycle a few years back. This is, I think, one of the first times we've had it this year. Maybe we had a Silver Cup at some other point, but 
These Evos are a nice addition to it. I did the Brendan Aronson Evo, so he's going to come out with like five star skills, finesse plus, quick step, not looking like a silver card at all. I wonder if this is going to impact future evolutions because they're going to have really low stats but you're probably going to be able to put them into other Evos because they have three playstyle pluses and low stats. So maybe that's why EA waited this long to do this because they weren't really afraid of what crazy cards could be combined with low stats and low overalls or low overalls mainly on some of these Evo cards. So let me know down in the comments if you're going to compete in this silver cup or not. I'm really interested to see what you guys are going to do. I'm going to do it just for the fun of it because it is something different to doing something fun. Like I've been doing the weekend league challenges as well. So I'm glad Glad that it's two weeks that we have time to get it done but there are some nice and fun evos that you can do inside of the whole silver vibe but let me know in the comments if you're going to be doing it the other evolution that we had yesterday was a footies uh, evo upgrade which to me i think is the least hype and the least worth doing evolution that was dropped yesterday mostly because it doesn't really fit a lot of the evos that we've been doing here's my problem with this right max three playstyle pluses and it has to be a card that is footies evo i don't have any cards that are footies evos that are three playstyle pluses like all of the evos that i did in the past couple of days for footies are four playstyle plus cards right that's the current meta that's what we're kind of all building towards so i'm sure a lot of you guys have the same situation there's nothing that fits from your club in to this and that's kind of the confusing thing with this but there are actually with this evolution being what it is kind of an upgrade on an already evoed footies card there's some really good chains this foot birthday son you can put into technical titan and then in the footies evo upgrade and of course he's five star five star but you're in mid to high 90 stats in a couple of those areas same thing with this vinnie jr you take vinnie's gold card you put him into passing mastermind and then to the footies evo upgrade and he goes to an even higher rating and he gets a rapid plus playstyle plus so i like that it's free it's just another kind of interesting evo that's like hmm, this really fits in only some certain areas but you look at the overall requirements 97 shooting 95 overall that's the highest overall rating we've seen on any evo requirement so far so that is pretty crazy um so yeah there's some good things to that there's some drawbacks to that as well now let's go to sbcs and talk about the player sbcs and really one of the best pieces of content yesterday which is in the upgrade pack section but for player sbcs we started off yesterday with a new left back Andrew Robertson, five-star skills, four-star weak foot. He's cheap. I think he's literally like 80K to do. It's two squads, 85,000 coins for this rival card. This is a dub. I know it's another one of those cheap footies SBCs, but every time I've used Rabo in FIFA, FC, He's always pretty good. Whipped pass plus, rapid plus, and relentless plus as well. He doesn't have that many defending playstyles. No anticipate, no intercept, which is a little bit unfortunate, but honestly this is an SBC I would consider doing because he's probably going to be pretty good in game not much else to say there let's move on to the big ticket SBC guys they answered the call uh, let's be honest this is an answer to our question once again we said this last Friday with Butra as well right Eto. Finally, a special card for Eto in FC24, first one of the whole year. He's five star, five star. The stats look great. The playstyle pluses look great. But I'm glad that I did Butragueno, or I'm one squad away from finishing Butragueno right now, actually, before doing this one. Because 32 squads, that is the requirement here that makes us just shake our heads and be like, why is this 32 squads when Butra Gueno is statistically a better card? If you look at the stats, he's got 99 pace, 99 dribbling. Of course, Eto has got better physical for sure. That's He wins in that stat category over Butra Gueno, um, but he's 5-star, five 5-star five as well. It's like, why is this the price? Eight more squads from 24 on Butragueno to 32 on Eto. Is it the name? Is it the links? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like, I mean, the links to Barca and some of the bigger clubs that Eto has played for. Not to minimize Butragueno at all. He's played for some big clubs as well. But this SBC, I think, is just getting a little bit of hate because of the price and the number of squads. But again, that brings me to my theory that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Because the price here seems out of proportion to even other SBCs that we have had. But I have a theory on that. I want to talk about it in a second. But there's got to be a reason he's this much, right? There's got to be. Now, before we talk about that theory, let's talk about the best SBC of yesterday. Hands down, bar none, the best SBC, the 92 plus repeatable is the main word here. Play PTG, make your mark, team of the tournament, footies, team one, two, and three. You can pack 99 rated Cristiano Ronaldo footies from this 
player pick right here, which is going to be very difficult to do. But all the footies cards are in this, besides Heroes and Icons, all of the Maker Marks, Team of Tournaments, and PTGs, and it's unlimited repeatable, and it's freaking easy to do. No Team of the Season, no Team of the Week requirements, just an 87 and an 88 rated squad with the specials that are in packs. If you open a couple of objective packs, the 84 times 10 once or twice, you're going to be able to do this easy. No questions asked. And here's my thing for the week. I'm chasing the 92 plus picks instead of doing Eto. Since I've already done Butcher Guanyo, and maybe you guys are in the same boat, to me, it seems more fun to go after these player picks and hunt down some of those top tier footies players or maybe even like PTG or team of the tournament players. I would love to chase Messi 99 from this player pick. Yeah, it's going to be tough to pack him, but I have unlimited opportunities to do so. That's the fun part with this. Think about how many of these 92 pluses I'm going to be able to do because I'm not going after Eto, right? And I've already got Butcher Guanyo. I guess I have two squads left to go on him. So I love this SBC. I think this is the highlight of SBCs from yesterday for sure. And I had a really insane pull. If, I'm sure you guys know who it is. If you didn't see it, check on Twitter or the second channel. We opened a bunch of these yesterday and I'm being tweeted like every 10 minutes. An insane pull from this 92 plus. I do understand the weight is not like un unbelievable. Like the weight seems average for these but it's just the fact that you can do them on repeat over and over and over and over and over again that's the fun part about this we absolutely love it now since this sbc is probably going to be the main sbc that a lot of people are crafting for the next week on this game it's going to make fodder move remember how we were buying 84s 85s 86s even this last week they're going to be buyable again because what i found is when i'm doing that sbc the 92 plus what i'm doing is i'm taking a high rated duplicate like i'm talking a 88, 9, 90, even like a 94 rated player, maybe putting it into that 88 rated squad. I'm filling it in the rest with a few 87s and 88 specials from my club from the batch to re release. And then I'm filling in like 84s and 5s from the 84 times 10. People are going to run out of those 84s and 5s once again. And this is going to be another great week, in my opinion, to get 84s at minimum bid 1.1K and list them up at like 2K plus because they're probably going to sell for lazies and they're probably going to spike every day the content drop, especially depending on what player SBCs and what upgrade pack SBCs we get today. So 85s at basically min price 2.1 to 2.2 and 84s at 1.1 to 1.2 is a great buy in my opinion. Sell them during content, an hour after content each and every day because of this SBC and the other packs we should be getting today, it'll make those cards move. Now, fodder check as well. We got to talk about team of the seasons. Let's actually look at their live prices right now because I know Tots cards for a fact, regular Tots cards were 40,000 coins. I'm sure they're down. They're 35K. These were 40,000 coins yesterday at the content drop. And that's even without the 92 plus requiring a team of the season. These cards would have boomed like crazy if that actually required a TOTS. But 34,000 coins for these TOTS cards. If you did not buy already, this is the last chance to get in. Get on some bids as they should start to go up today as we get a new player SBC, new upgrade pack SBC like the 84 times 10 probably coming out again. And then another icon pick probably tomorrow on Sunday. So this is the time where the team of the season start to take off. This is like the last time to get in. They've already gone up a bit, but this should be the time to do so. You can see our favorite Dewsbury Hall. We check him every day. He's the barometer for tots down to 33 Friday morning, spiked up to 40,000 coins during content. Now back down to 33, 34, 35, get on some bids there. I bet you can get low thirties, even into the morning hours today on Saturday. That is easy coins, the easiest investment you will make this week. So that's kind of the pack theory right there with the 92 plus. Let's talk about the team that is in packs really quick because we have multiple 99s. We have not one, not two, but three 99 rated cards in this footies team three. I mean, it's kind of the same, honestly. I was hoping for something different in this footies team three. I was really hoping for the pack weight to be different, guys. And as I'm looking at a lot of these cards right now, like this, this Frimpong is crazy expensive. 4.7 mil. He's going to be rare. He's going to move a lot in price. I really wanted to buy this Rio because I think he's going to move in price as well. I really wanted like 2.8 mil. He's kind of 2.9 right now. I'm going to be watching him closely. Sam Kerr is like 2 million coins as well. These cards started off really, really rare. Ronaldo is still extinct at 15 million coins. Usman Dembele is expensive. Company is expensive. Um, Socrates is nice. Like it's a nice team of cards and packs. But yet again, it is very, very difficult to pack these cards. Yesterday from all of the crafting objective packs, I got Czech, I got Malasia, and Papin. 
that's about it. Now, there are some nice budget cards in here. Like this Kelly Smith for 90K is like a really crazy card. I know she's minimum price, so she's going to go lower. But look at those stats and 5-star, five 5-star five with Finesse, Dead Ball, Pinged, Quick Step. That's a crazy card for probably end up what's going to be like 50K once our price range gets updated and her minimum goes lower. Uh, but you have so many of these cards are already discard. It's like, yep, you pack the fodder ones and you don't get any of the others. But these are actually somewhat packable too from 92+. plus. I've seen people tweet me David Alaba's and Zaha's and even a couple of Gavi's. Um, so that's a chase there that's different this week in Team 3. But really not a whole lot to talk about there with those cards and packs because... Again, the pack weight is not that different. Now, let's get to that unlimited theory that I'm talking about, guys. Back to the Eto SBC, right? And the 92 plus, firstly, this is the first unlimited footies pack or player pick with no limit on restrictions on how many times per day, per week, we can do it, right? And of course, the Eto SBC, as I mentioned, just seems a little bit overpriced for, again, comparing it to Butro Guanyo. Why is he that expensive? Well, here's my theory. It makes sense that Eto is this much and we have an unlimited 92 plus pick if we are about to get an unlimited repeatable upgrade pack today. That's my hope. I don't think it's a guarantee. It's a hope, guys. The 84 times 10 went from three times repeatable to five times repeatable. Now, in the way that EA usually progresses things, this should go, according to their normal plan, to 10 times repeatable per day, which is a lot, and that would be awesome. But with the prices of those SBCs, specifically Eto, and also the SBCs that are leaked to be upcoming, guys, I think it actually would make sense if the 84 times 10 was unlimited repeatable. Because EA, if they release this unlimited repeatable, then would say, okay, this is why Eto is so expensive. If we're going to let you guys do the 84 times 10 as much as you want, and then it would actually be worth doing Eto if you wanted to put the time in, hit the 84 tens and all that, because you'd still be able to be able to get them done really cheap if you could do an unlimited number of 84 times. 10. Then it just comes down to a time factor. Do you want to put in the couple hours worth of grind that it would take for you to open all those 84 times 10s or not? And also, would you want to put in that time to do like an unlimited number of 92 plus player picks for footies with unlimited 84 times 10? So that's my hope for today. I think it's a bit of a stretch, but it also with the Etel price seems possible, guys. So I think it's either 10 times repeatable for this 84 10 today, or it's just unlimited repeatable which would be the best i think it's still a little bit too early for the 85 times 10 i really do i would love that but if we're going up in rating i doubt they go up in the number of times we're able to complete it so my fingers are crossed for an unlimited 84 10 today for the whole week of team three of footies with the 92 like that would be it would be a fun week man we would get tired of doing 84 times 10s if that was the opportunity that we had this week also Team of the Weeks and Team of the Season cards would go up even more if it was unlimited repeatable. So that's my hope. 10 times a day would be nice. Unlimited would be amazing, guys. So that's my thought there. It could be the best week of footies for the player pick grind and craft. We should have the 82 pluses coming out on Monday as well. It could be mint. It could be really, really mint. Also, with that, the player SBCs that we have leaked, we kind of looked over them slightly yesterday, but I think that the leaks we looked at yesterday are going to end up being correct based off of the number of them that were correct for players that were re-releasing the team. And that means Sadio Mane and Yaya Toure are still allegedly leaked as player SBCs coming during this footies team three, both of which probably are going to be dropped this weekend, guys. We know how it goes, right? EA dropped the big SBCs on Friday, Saturday, Sundays, and then it slows down after that. If we get a Yaya Toure today, even if he's like 97 rated and not 98 rated, that would be a big SBC and probably pretty expensive. And again, we're going to have to have an SBC to be able to craft a 32 squad Eto and maybe like a 20 something squad Yaya Toure if they're going to do that. So the big names like Yaya and Mane with SBCs upcoming, I got my fingers crossed. I think it's possible. That's my theory, right, hey, guys? It's my theory. I hope we get one of those two today and the 84 times 10 unlimited repeatable. So, again, I guess we're believing those leaks because everything on that page, except for Renato Sanchez, the only card that we're missing, quote unquote, would be Renato Sanchez. And I think EA maybe would have pulled him out of the team of promo players. Um, either the leak was wrong in the beginning or EA pulled him out of the team because of the transfer situation with Benfica. We have an 86 double here to open really fast. We are getting ourselves a... Who's this? Uh, Musiala? Yeah, Musiala Gold. And every time I see the fire animation in the background, I know it's Hideki. He might be the only one that's in packs. Yeah, and it's, it's him every single freaking time, man. 
really annoying. That's probably a dupe, but guess what? Oh, it's not, but that's more fodder for an 92 plus player pick we will be there so that's kind of the state of the game at the moment the 92 plus picks crafting at eto if you want to uh yeah the 81 plus player pick is definitely not the best in terms of an spc to help with the craft Ooh, footies dutch left back wait is that a footies malasia okay i was gonna say yo dutch in the beginning there you had me thinking from pong for a half second a little bit of bait right there. But I'll, we'll take a Malasia. That's a dupe. That's a 92-plus player pick coming my way after I craft that. So that's kind of the state of the game at the moment once again. Market-wise, I'm just lazy listing my team of the season. It's very high in price. I'm going to trade with a couple of these 40s cards because I know people are going to log on today and want to try them out and want to use them. So I want to be involved with some of those movements there. But those prices should drop later on today, so be very, very careful with those. Last thing I want to talk about in the video is... There was a bunch of FC25 information yesterday as well surrounding pro clubs. I'm not going to deep dive through all of it because it is a lot. But if you want to look, I'll put the link to this down in the description. It's the club's deep dive. This clubhouse idea is really kind of sick. So they made some good changes to clubs. I think with the popularity rise in pro clubs this last year with like girth and turf and all that stuff um you know they even included some of those guys in the video kind of the release video yesterday of this there's some really interesting things in here especially with how they're going to incorporate rush into pro clubs and stuff like that so if you want to read through that that is going to be in the description down below and also we have a ultimate team deep dive ea rescheduled the ultimate team deep dive it was supposed to be on august 7th and now if you see in the objective tab here under the FC Pro, the deep dive stuff, it is going to be Monday, August 5th. That's when we're going to have a big day of news and information about Ultimate Team in FC 25. I'm really looking forward to that. We'll have videos here on the channel or maybe on the second channel as well. Um, and then we'll be streaming during it as well. Look into the trailer and diving deep into all of the extra news and info. There's going to be a lot more that we should learn. Last year, the deep dive was really, really insightful. So maybe it was not the deep dive, but it was the launch update. I think the launch update that'll come early September is the most insightful one but this should give us a lot more detail maybe on that premium season pass or maybe some of the rush insights that we learned a little bit about but we need to learn more about and then of course all the other features like duplicate storage how's that going to look or things they're adding to ultimate team so i'm really looking forward to that on monday and the last thing is closed fc25 beta is also been leaked so i want to talk about this really quickly too these guys are saying on twitter x that the codes for the closed beta are going to be sent out expectedly like this next week which would make sense usually it does happen around the early to maybe the second week of august is kind of this you know normal time when the beta gets sent out so i think all you have to do if you want to get ahead of this if you've never had a beta before just make sure you go into your ea account like basically go to the web app and click on your little top corner you have to click yes for email preferences to receive emails from ea and that opts you in to the beta i'm pretty sure it's just as easy as that um and then they're also in as a part of this in the beta going to give everybody team of the weeks with roll plus and roll plus pluses so we can test that new feature and rush is going to be available as a part of it as well so i'm this might be a beta that i'm genuinely wanting to try more than other years um i got the beta last year and two years ago as well i would hope that i would get it this year too um but it, it'll be really really interesting to see especially with rush how that works get an insight into ultimate team but again it's a closed beta so not everybody gets it and it's you're not supposed to post about it and people have streamed it before whenever the closed beta comes out and they get banned right away so we can't stream it we can't post videos on it we can't talk about it um you know allegedly sometimes yeah no, you're not supposed to talk about it right that's what's that's what it said but stuff gets leaked during the beta as well so you can just watch twitter and watch x even if you don't have the beta and you'll be able to see so many things because it always gets leaked but big week of news ahead and of course maybe a fun week of just playing with silvers first of all and uh grinding through some of the 92 plus picks unlimitedly through the menus on this game for footies so overall yesterday of footies was not bad it was a good start uh to the week we just need maybe some more player species i, I think i'm still asking i'm still asking for like a banger player spc that kind of just hits home all the player species we've had so far have been decent but we just need another big one I know I keep asking for the big player SBCs, drop the big SBC EA Sports, but like that uh, that Eto is good, but like there hasn't been one that's hit yet that's just been like, wow, that is freaking sick. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of what we're aiming for next. That's what we're hoping for next. 
and just maybe that can come today on a Saturday, maybe tomorrow on Sunday. You know what? We're in the middle of doing this player pick right here. Let's just finish off a 92 plus player pick because I'll spill the beans. If you didn't watch the second fan channel video, or if you didn't watch uh, the Twitter post that we had yesterday, we were able somehow lucky enough and able to pack a 97 rated Cristiano Ronaldo PTG. And in the pack after that, I got Tots and Neymar from the re-release. Unbelievable luck yesterday, but specifically this player pick. And you know, the Ronaldo's a crazy pull, but guys, I'm seeing a lot of people get pulls like that on Twitter. I'm getting tweeted like Rodman's and all this sort of stuff. Like this, this pick is pretty nuts. So we're going to continue to do them. And that is probably not the most efficient way to do a 91 rated squad, but we are here for the speed, not the efficiency. Let's rip a 92 plus. Let's see if we can hit one more, add a banger to our tally. I'm hunting Messi. I've got a footies here. Give me the footies luck for a footies. Uh, ew. Okay. Yeah. This guy's cracked, by the way. I've been using him a lot, but uh, we're going to take Illich so it's not fodder. So it's not duplicates, I mean. But that was a fodder pick right there. So more of those to come. I'm excited to craft those throughout the entire week. As you can see, I've been doing a bunch of team of the week picks and those 92 uh, plus picks as well, because that's what gives you all these tradable packs. <laughs> so I got to rip through these, get a couple of coins and clean up my store section there. But if you're playing weekendly this weekend as well, best of luck. I know that everybody or a lot of people are going for that festival of football objective for the play 10, get 10 wins with the festival of football team. I'm going to save all of these packs for later on in the week. I kind of enjoyed doing that yesterday, uh, saving some of the packs. I already opened a few of them already, but I think I might save some of the rest of them, especially the win 10 packs since they're pretty good. 85.5 and 86.2 for team four, maybe batch three of footies coming out this Friday. We will have to see but that's the video for me today guys if you did enjoy drop a thumbs up on it comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new all eyes on 6 p.m content today what will the 84 times 10 be in terms of how many times we can complete it appreciate you guys watching the videos though it's been nathan account and have a great saturday peace